Hey guys, welcome back to the 9 for 9 podcast. I'm your host, Jason Kim. Joined with my brother, Paulie. What's good? What's good? And on my left, we got Megan Yu. Hi. And then on my right, we got Jennifer Lee. Hi, everybody. And today, we're back with Woo! the UTI hey. part two. All right. Hello. We got Wu Talk and Esther this time. Woo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yay. Are you guys brothers? No. <laughs> oh, but like, okay, like a homie brother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 homie brother. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's cool. But they have different last names, so like. I didn't know. I didn't. I don't know your guys' last names. <laughs> he said it just now. Oh shit! What? No, you never heard it. You never heard of that? Like, yo, that's my brother. That's my brother. No, I have, but you know, I just, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> I just Jer- met. This is my second my time meeting you guys. All right. Well, I mean, uh, Mr. Super Bonsai. Yeah, I think yeah, you got yeah. a product. Yes, sir. Uh, and I guess because we're gonna drink, we 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 should talk about it first. But yeah, this is Super Recovery by Super Bonsai, which is my health and wellness supplement company that is launching literally tomorrow. Mm-hmm. It'll be out by the time this releases for sure. You go cop that shit, man. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank. You. <laughs> I'm gonna pay rent because you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So basically, it's an anti hangover supplement. Um, it's eight natural ingredients formulated to tackle every part of your hangover. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of people are always like, oh, why is it? different from liquid IV and most of the hangover uh, recovery solutions are like one part of a hangover mm-hmm. so like liquid IV for example it's like you get dehydrated you lose B vitamins when you drink right. that replenishes and that helps with your headaches and stuff mm-hmm. but this also has B complex basically it tackles everything nausea anxiety liver poisoning and headaches Ooh, anxiety. does it help with once. like Asian glow yeah yeah. So the main the main active ingredient is DHM, which is like the super supplement for Asian Glow, basically. Okay, okay. Because yeah. I be fucking up those Pepsids for yeah, a while. Are like, you you get red? No, I get super red. Yeah. But I red? heard Pepsi yeah. is like really bad for you. It's really bad for you. So these are I completely so natural bad. ingredients. Right. You know what else Way is really bad? Solution. Freaking vapes. Put that away, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, y'all worried about Pepsi. She's, she's, over, she's over here like, it's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the like, girls, bro. It's the girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not us. I don't know. Yeah, what? Not, uh, <laughs> what you mean? What you mean? Wait, Jen, you vape too? You I literally asked vape. her that. Oh, my God. No, I thought Wait, she why vaped. Why are you trying to expose me? Also, I thought she <laughs> vaped. Okay, super fun then. Let everyone take one. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Okay. yeah, yeah. So it's just, it's three capsules is the serving size. Oh, three oh, capsules okay, each. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. That's a lot. Ooh. Oh, they, they're kinda big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we about to we about to go out tonight too, so Loki, yeah, we need yeah, these. We're testing it. Yeah, I'm gonna get yeah, them yeah. very drunk so that they know it works. Wait, I have a question. Flavor too, really? Oh, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a uh, passion fruit orange guava. It's a uh, one of the new the newest nectar flavor. Actually it's not the newest because there's two new ones, but mm-hmm. this is a new one that's available everywhere, so yeah. Okay. Well, I'm excited to try this one. Yeah. Yeah. I have a really bad what happened with the uh the Zuki one? Is that one out yet? Or yeah, no? that one's out. That one's it's out? not available everywhere. You can only buy that online or okay, in Hawaii. Okay. So that one's yeah. sick. That one's sick. We were you trying to bring that for you, but we didn't I didn't have any yeah, on me because yeah. I drank it all. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite. The mango one is probably the best tasting seltzer I've ever had. But uh, you want you want a trick for swallowing pills? Yeah, I will really Oh, I just swallowed them all. Well, you you seem like you don't have a issue, but okay, if, you, okay. if, oh, if you have a, a hard trick. time, put it in your mouth, right? Get water or whatever in your mouth and look down when you swallow. Look, look down. down. Yeah, because most people try to like throw it back like this, yeah. but capsules like this they float on water, right? So if you yeah. look down, they're floating at the back of your throat, oh, yeah. and it's just a bunch of liquid just, waiting to be. You take all three at once? No. Yeah. One at a time. I'm gonna do one at a time. Okay. Really, y'all? Don't be pussies. Put it all. Did you take? Did you take? Dude, I take horse pills, man. Whoa. These are nothing. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Can we talk about the what? A horse pills? Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just, saying, I'm just saying the pills that I take are pretty big. Yeah. Oh. I've also had to take a lot of pills in my life, so it, swallowing pills is very easy for me. <laughs> Did it make it easier? Yeah, it's bubbly. It's hard. Yeah, the carbonation made it hard to... You want... Mm. Oh, wait, you don't like coconut water. water. Are you for? Yeah, give me one. Give me one. Extra like bonsai. Again, All my right. fear of throwing up. Hurry up and deep really? throw those, Jason. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you right here. <laughs> oh, am I the only one gonna oh, getting a so hangover or right. what? Thank you. Oh. That's all right. Bonsai. Have to protect all my friends' livers before we start drinking. Oh, that's so nice Wait, we talk. Can I ask what was the idea behind the name of this Super oh, Bonsai? Yeah. So, um, we've been working on this literally for like eight months. Okay. With like doctors and everyone to formulate and stuff and then my job as like ceo is like obviously a vision and everything so it was like originally the name was just bonsai because it's mm-hmm. like oh we were going to use like asian herbs and blah 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 so we want like a word that's asian that western people still recognize easily and bonsai gives you like the feeling of like zen tranquility right, natural right, right, right. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's also something that can live for hundreds of years if you take care of it properly mm. so kind of like your body and what we were trying to do for your body but i was like that's too regular like that's too normal and i feel like every other supplement company is kind of just like that like natural good for you blah 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 right right so i was like for me 
I've always taken supplements all my life and there's certain compounds I take where it's like it works so well that it's like a superpower low key. For example, I don't know if I'm a, how uh, how explicit I can be on here, but basically if you take Makaru and Tonka Ali, oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's like a, it's like a super I don't know I don't know what word to use. Doesn't that boost T? Yeah, boost yeah. testosterone, male libido. So basically you become a savage in the bedroom. And it's, <laughs> wow. it's like and it's like a cheat code low key. So what it felt like was like a superpower, like I was accessing a superpower. And so then I was like, supplements feel like superpowers. No one's really, and I use the word super mm -hmm. in front of the bonsai so that we can start naming all of our product SKUs over like superpowers, which is why it's called super recovery. Oh. Yeah. And that's Dude. the feeling I want the brand to impart. That's why all the, the content is like video game, like you're an NPC in a yeah, video game. I love game. the content. Bro, I'm going to talk about those reels, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Dude, there's like literally every vitamin B in here, yeah, one through yeah. 12. Like. B, B complex, yep. Oh. That's like something that happens when you drink is you lose a lot of uh, your B vitamins. Mm -hmm. So, and that's why you get a headache. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, shout out Super Bonsai. I'm going to yep. put the link in the bio. Yes, sir. Appreciate All right, go check it out. It's already going to be out when I post this. Mm -hmm. right. But uh, yeah, going into the episode, I wanted to know. Ooh, what wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Before we get started, I also wanted to say to you, Esther, last time we all drank together, thank you so much for paying for us. I just wanted to oh, say yeah. to the viewers, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, now you guys got oh. it. No, yeah, yeah. Tonight, tonight we got it. Tonight yeah, we yeah. got no, it. No, 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 no. I, no, no, I got it. I got it. No, no, no. We didn't forget about that one. We didn't forget about that one. We, forget yeah, about that one. Forget about that one. we also wanted to ask real sweet. quick. Uh -huh. I saw you change your Instagram name to Kanye Wester. What's the story behind that? Okay, so, yeah, I changed it because, first off, nobody could find my name because oh. my name is esther right but then it was little buns so whenever someone wanted to find me and they would type in esther it wouldn't show up but the second um this is actually the main reason okay it's because okay. my best friend's name is uh jeremy kim kardashian on instagram so <laughs> i was like how oh. funny would it be to be kanye wester you know what i mean oh. hey give credit give credit to who gave you the idea vit yes oh really oh, genius and hey, hey, you said your best friend He's my best friend okay, in the whole okay. wide world. <laughs> okay. Hey, but then why are you constantly hitting on him if that's your best Yo. friend? <laughs> because... Well, I mean, sometimes you have to get close with them. Right, right, right. And right. then, you know, and then you got to, you know, kind of slip it in the, the wow. slip in the idea that, you know, you guys could be more than friends. So, oh, yeah. so you're okay, trying to okay. finesse him into loving you back. Yeah, I've been doing that. Insane. <laughs> Wait, but for this mic, do I have to be this close or like, can I be... Right These are the close. same as our mics, yeah, so we yeah, gotta yeah, be close. Pretty yeah, close, just pretty close. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but I wanted to ask, like, what happened to your house? Did it actually burn down? Uh, yeah, basically we left the AC on, and uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Wait, what I realized though, <laughs> what I realized is we never told the, our audience. No, we were, I we watched were it. I watched it. I was like, what's going on? Yeah. I want to know more. <laughs> Cause, cause, yeah, we started it as a joke, and then we just moved on, and never said what really yeah. happened. But uh, yeah, basically, like our boy that was letting us film there, who's on the Nectar team, he was mm. he just was gonna remodel and he like let us use it for free for like a year and a half mm -hmm. so it was just time to move the fuck out yeah. and when he was doing like the demolishing and shit we we're like we have to make content out of this like it's just like our whole set is just destroyed so mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. are you guys like moving out or are you gonna go back when he like remodels um currently no no we're moving out so like moving right out? now it's in my living room um which is like just just enough space for it to be comfortable yeah but uh but yeah we might we're gonna look we're looking for a permanent solution mm -hmm. oh another one yeah mm -hmm. okay okay, okay. That i don't episode want that shit in my living room the whole time man. Yeah. yeah i mean i gotta like swim through lights and yeah. and wires every time i want to get yeah. to my we bedroom. don't want to be in your living room anyways i saw that couch was a little tight man like, yeah. <laughs> that, that was that's my Whoa. listen yeah, i don't you and nick were like <laughs> No, that I, was on purpose. Like I, yeah, first of all, I just I like That's, touching my homies. Like I'm a very touchy person. That's free will. But <laughs> even if it was a very big couch, you would have seen the same sitting situation. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that that couch is just a couch from my room. Like we don't even have a couch in my living room, yeah. so I had to just bring that out there. Yeah, we're like in the same situation. Yeah, this is much nicer than the last situation. Well, though. we're not even gonna have this for too long because, mm -hmm. like I said, we're gonna sell this house. Mm. So I gotta move back to LA. Yeah. You're, you're oh. gonna get your own place and film yeah, there then. Yeah, dude. I'm trying to find a job and move back out. Cause mm. low key, like Irvine ain't it. Oh, you so like LA better? Far. LA's way. I better. know that. I know that uh, Jennifer hates. LA. I absolutely hate. LA. I watch. I watch your little videos, and you're like, I hate LA. <laughs> I was like, why? Wait, what do you hate about LA? Yeah, I watch it all the time. Comment on it too. If you ignore me, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, your your vlogs are very entertaining. Really? Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm yeah. Um, yeah, I I'm like your honored. little uh, your little commentary. Like, what, what are they? I'm colors? honored. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm honored. <laughs> um, I hate LA because it's I don't know. It's like too many homeless people. 
That's a big um, one. Yeah. yeah. I don't like that either. People. And you have to pay for parking everywhere you go. That's why I hate it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Parking. parking. Everything's yeah. valet. I yeah. spend like $100 a night if we go out to multiple places. Yeah. Really? On parking? Just because it's like if you go to like three, pl- like let's say dinner and then you go to two bars, right? Yeah. That's two, va- three valets you got to pay for. That's true. 20 to $25 each time you valet. And it's like you got to tip them. So it's like they just. A hundred dollars on just fucking parking Our on a game. night out. Yeah. And the Ubers too. It's either you yeah. park or you get Ubers. Exactly. Mm. Just stay home, guys. <laughs> That's probably the <laughs> best plan. Huh? That's probably the best plan. Yeah. What? Staying in Irvine or LA? No, staying, no, stay at, at, staying home. at home in general. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. like, I save a lot of money here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But then, like, I don't know. Everything here closes at nine. It's Oh, bullshit. it closes you're too young. So you're too young to live here. Yeah. Is basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Uh, yeah, LA would be fun for you. Yeah, even tonight, like we're gonna go from Irvine to LA just mm-hmm. to go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be worth it though. I promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna be back here in two weeks because I'm moving back home too. Wait, you all, you're also from Irvine? Yeah, I'm also from Irvine. Yeah. Wait, Esther, where did you grow up? Yeah, grow up. Grow? I grew up in LA and then came to. I don't want to say. Oh really? Wait, you you huh? like raised in LA? Yeah, in oh. LA, but then I went somewhere else. Yeah, why don't you why don't you want to say what because i don't want to know i don't want people to know where i'm from. oh just say like the general big area like. um la county la county mm-hmm. okay okay somewhere in la county yeah if you know you know <laughs> so i'll I tell mean, you guys later okay okay i mean it's been a couple months since we last filmed yeah mm-hmm. but uh any updates any love life updates you um, get a girl yet? Anything oh, no. talking to a girl? No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> still in love with Jeremy. Still celibate. <laughs> Wait, are you still celibate? Huh? Are you still celibate? Oh. Uh, yeah, but it's like, sounds yeah. Like no. nah. Yeah, it like no. Nah, 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 nah. Sounds like no. What was that? I've definitely fucked up once. <laughs> <laughs> so, but the, the plan to be celibate still exists, and that's still the goal. <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm man, celibate. I asked you not to talk about this earlier. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, uh, what's it called? That North Star party we went to uh-huh. yeah. in the hills. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say the name, but I saw him talking oh, to a girl. Oh, uh, he was talking to a girl that night. Oh, wait, okay, celibate doesn't mean that I'm gay now. Like, what? <laughs> Like, was he like making out? No, no. He, was, he, he was on the swings with a girl. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> wait, on the <laughs> swings? Okay. That's romantic. At like hey. a park? Yeah. Hold on, <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about this. Yeah. When I heard that, when with, that you were on a swing, I just like imagined you like holding on the swing, like wee. That's exactly what I was doing. I was having really? a blast. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, what's wrong with that? Swings are fun as hell. I would like to say I'm abstinent. And I'm, I'm going strong. Hell yeah. Why? How long has it been for you? What's absent again? That's. And a half damn, good job. So you're practicing not. Not fuck doing it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abstaining. Well, abst- abstain. Ab- the word abstaining from something is like refusing to do mm-hmm. certain thing for whatever mm-hmm. reason. But celibacy is specifically till marriage for religious purposes. Okay. Yeah. Are you really abstinent, bro? I'm actually abstinent. No for way. You. No, yeah. she is. Really? No, yeah. I am. Is there a reason for that? I'm just seeing like how much self control I have. Good, well, really? good no. fucking reason. I've Just to like, see, like, yeah, how, I've been if, trying okay. to like be more like, uh, like wake up earlier too. Mm-hmm. Like uh-huh. the other day, I literally woke up oh, at five forty-five a.m. Why? Before my job. So That's it's insane. Super crazy, yeah. yeah, it's so much better waking up early than it is. But lately, I've been going to sleep at like four thirty in the morning, yeah. and it's yeah. oh, really? terrible. Damn. But also, like when you're in the like when you rise and sleep with the sun pattern, like you, mm-hmm. that's when like you have the most energy. Honestly, that's like the most natural version. Yeah, I have no self control. <laughs> As in, <laughs> I, I in everything. <laughs> low key, I low don't key. practice abstinence. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Who are you? Who are you having sex with? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. no! I'm I'm not fucking. Not by choice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not practicing anything. Oh, right, 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 right. So you're an in, you're an incel right now. Yeah, lucky <laughs> yes. You try you you thought you could get me? <laughs> what? Are you trying to come at me like that? Yeah, I thought I had an opening. Yeah, I, was I was like, like yeah. what? Nah, we're gonna well, get you, you by the end of this. You think this is my choice? <laughs> no, for real. Silly boy. Anything anything going on with you, Esther? Though, like uh, since last time we like drank together. Um. Anything new going on? No. No. Um, you said you're vlogging, right? Yeah. How you got nothing new going on? You're right. Let me think about something. <laughs> I, I I swear, whenever they hear that I'm not doing anything, they're like, "Yeah, you have nothing to do. You could edit these videos." Or, <laughs> I'm like, okay, what do I? I'm very busy. So busy. <laughs> Starts I'm, coming up with shit. Like, <laughs> I gotta go drive to Montana and just back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But no, I've been I've been uh, making more TikTok videos. Mm. Sorry, kiss your mic. Oh, I've been seeing that those. Cool. Been yeah. seeing it's been, it's been no, too we long. We do that all the time. We do that all the time. 
<laughs> yeah, no, I ha- yeah, I've been I've been making TikTok videos, trying to be as consistent as possible. Um, I didn't make one today because make I have make one I'm from here. going out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Huh? She she's very good at them too. So check out her check out her TikTok. Yeah, check They're thoroughly you. entertaining. Mm-hmm. At Kanye Wester. Huh? How was um your guys' trip to Texas? I remember you guys said we were going. Oh yeah, what yeah. oh. was that before I we? Was no, that, that was, was right after. before you guys went. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right you guys went. bro, Texas was crazy. Yeah, insane. Yeah, I mean, you guys are good. Like, you sh- you should do some type of like club appearance too so mm-hmm. at some point because one mm-hmm. you'll you'll make money from it, but two like it's just. It's crazy. Like, I don't know how to. No, explain. I was actually yeah. shocked you guys got that many people like in line Whoa. at that gro- grocery store. <laughs> yeah, no, because it's what, not. What? No, 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 because it's not California. Because it's not California. Yeah, you guys yeah. went to Texas, mm. so I was like, wow, uh-huh. like it's actually like. Global. What What I've noticed about Texas is that one, like the people there have a very strong sense of pride of being from Texas. Like they love that they're from Texas. Mm-hmm. Big Asian communities in these cities, like Dallas and Houston, and then like. They also just love drinking. Like, they love that shit. So, like, any, like, drinking reason, like, they were super down to come out mm-hmm. for. And, yeah. And everyone's so nice. So, so much nicer nice. than yeah. L.A. people. Infinitely nicer. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, true mm-hmm. niceness. Like, L.A. people are nice, in my opinion. They're nice. Mm-hmm. But it's, like, like even just the way that, like, a cashier would treat you is so completely different. Yeah. Texas wow. and L.A., yeah. And then you think about New York where people are rude as default. And it's just, like, right. night and day, yeah. yeah. Mm. Wait, what cities did you guys go again? Uh, Dallas, then Austin, then Houston. What was your favorite? Houston, for sure. Houston. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Food was the best. Mm-hmm. Crowd was the best. No hate to Dallas and Austin. I still love Dallas and Austin. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. but if we have to choose, it yeah. was Houston. Gun to my head, have to choose. It's like, oh, I love all three. <laughs> Houston. Yeah. 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 Then, how was like the, the Azuki, the, what's it called? Nectar Vegas oh. trip? Oh, yeah. That was fun, too. Yeah? Yeah. yeah I like any uh-huh. Vegas trip, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> you got dragged out, right? Yeah. 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 And he convinced yeah. me last second. He called me. and It was, was so like, easy. Do, no, don't it wasn't. Don't no, don't no, it wasn't. He tells me on the call. Yeah? He probably just told you, you'll pull up. And you're like, oh, I'm down. No, 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 no. no. It, it did not go like that, all right? <laughs> he call pretended was, to hate it. But the like call <laughs> was at least five minutes long of straight pitching, of straight sales pitch. And he was like, we got a free room. Once in a lifetime party. Right. You're not doing shit. All your friends are here. And I was like, you're right. True. How much is a plane ticket? I'll just go. I like, yeah. feel like I'll, I'll always go to Vegas trips. It's so fun. Yeah. I do love yeah. Vegas. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to go to Vegas. Have you never been? No, I, I went for EDC, but I have to make up for it. Cause mm. shit yeah, that's not like an actual either. Vegas trip, yeah, though. Exactly. EDC is totally different. I've only been to one club, too. so I wanna go. In Vegas? Mm-hmm. The Vegas clubs are insane. It's like three times as big as any club out here oh, yeah. every single oh, one yeah. i love it the one we went to had like the chandelier that would like Zook? come up and down zook no nah, that's no omnia. no that's omnia. Omnia. Yeah. Omnia. Yeah. omnia yeah that's omnia yeah oh this is a question actually we asked last time but would you let your partner go to vegas by themselves hell you mm. <laughs> 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 oh she's be careful her? because she wants to go to vegas by uh, herself yeah. <laughs> would i go by myself but if i go by myself i'm not doing anything other than gambling and yeah. eating no no no. Like, like dead ass i don't even party what if your partner likes to party and yeah. they're yeah like and he they goes go with his like guy friends like a guy's trip to yeah. bachelor party yeah. trip yeah. to vegas i'm already getting angry why <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no i'm on the same page i'm on the same um, page God, um i would say yeah go but you're gonna see me around Somewhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't Yo. know. I'm gonna be on that, you know, that spear thing that's going on on the TikTok. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, <laughs> it's gonna be your eyeball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, where are you? Hey, I'm imagining you had this TikTok of her and like mustache being like when he blocked you, but you know his basketball schedule, <laughs> and she's just dressed like a boy, like playing ball. And I'm like imagining Esther at the bachelor party, just dressed like a man. Like, Yo, what's hey, up, guys, guys? I promise, I'm not that crazy. Actually, crazy people tell people that they're not crazy i'm sorry so you're crazy no 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 <laughs> I, I i worded that weird um <laughs> yeah um no they're n- no they're not allowed they're no, not allowed no that's that's mean no we said it we said it we're uncomfortable too yeah, yeah. i'm uncomfortable yeah. and i'll tell them that i'm uh, uncomfortable but uh-huh. i would always say that if a man wants to cheat he'll cheat mm. so i'm just like do your thing but you know if you get caught or you know, would you would you would you beat him up? No. Oh, okay. No, I'm not violent at all. <laughs> what about you, Wuta? Um, I think it fully depends who I'm dating. Like, if I feel so sec- like you know, what I mean, if I really felt secure, yeah, then I, I would probably be okay with it. But Girls, just from past relationships right. and things like that, I'm gonna right. just default to as of right now. Probably yeah. like I would. It would make me uncomfortable. Yeah, but I do. I would dream of a life where a woman would make me 
feel okay with her her doing that. Yeah. yeah. Wait, you I, guys all said. Well, the thing no? is, it happened to me recently. Oh. Like, and the thing is, I couldn't say no. Wait, you have a girlfriend? I have a girl. I have a girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I asked you what's new with you, you that didn't come Wait, up. I didn't ask her out yet. But oh. I'm, uh, but I'm planning. Somebody to. you're seeing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but oh. Wait, you're planning to? Oh. Is she gonna see this before you do it? Maybe, but she kind of already knows. So oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow! That's so funny. she's like, going don't worry, to babe. This. I'm gonna no, ask like, you. you <laughs> <have> literally, <laughs> no, I'm the only single one in the crew now. Oh, <laughs> no, that's good though. We need some single people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't all be in. Inter- that would make a very boring yeah. podcast. Boring as hell, bro. You need to do things. About my life. You need to do things for the plot. You gotta go out and keep <laughs> yeah. making mistakes for the plot. Yes. Yeah. That's why I stay You're single. It's for the podcast. Now. Yeah. I'm the main character. <laughs> Is that really why? No, not at all. But <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel better <laughs> if I say it like that. <laughs> all right, well, I got a different question for everyone to answer. But um, do you guys think it's wrong if you're in a relationship to follow back people that are of the other gender? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Once again, wait. I like this question. Say it again. Okay. Say you're in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Is it okay to follow back people of the other gender? No. Hell no really? thank you really? like, hell no like a, a mutual no something. so let me just tell you okay, okay. we were just we, were <laughs> we just literally had this conversation in the car in yeah. the car okay so for me uh my friends uh-huh. i have i have uh i don't want to say it like this but i've trained my friends and my men to men not plural. huh plural no like just Oh, in like the men past in your life stuff, okay. in general yeah, yeah. yeah. The in the, the past man. yeah like the um like i'm just i tell them straight up i'm like this is like a boundary, you know? And this is yeah. something that I don't want you guys to do is that if you are my friend, right? Do not add my man or some anyone I'm talking to or my man on Instagram, on social media. Don't even ask for his phone number because wow. it, it happens. It happens. Number is crazy. Yeah, and I'm just and I'm just like, why do you need to chat for? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could true. go through that me, you know? True. Yeah, but text that is a is different true. story. We're talking about an Instagram follow. Instagram, no, yeah. why do you need to see them? Okay. Yeah. What you think? I, I mean, like, I follow your girl though. Yeah, I mean, that's different though. Wait, but that was your question, right? No, I'm saying just in general, like right now, right? Yeah, yeah. Like you're, you have a girl, kind of, right? Yeah. But I'm sure there's girls, random girls, following your IG. Oh, like the other way. If yeah. Girls follow me. Yeah. yeah. And then you or follow, b- you both follow ways, yeah, honestly. Both ways, right? Yeah. I mean, like, probably, I probably wouldn't follow back like random girls <laughs> if I'm in a relationship. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. There yeah. we go. But just what about respect. friends? Yeah. yeah. What about like if it was a guest on like you know your podcast? Oh, guest. That's different. Um. I would want him to ask me if it's okay. Oh, also, I I tell them that like if it's like a mutual, uh, or like we met them together, uh-huh. right? But if she's uh like posting thirst traps, yeah. I say no, mm-hmm. or ask me, and I'll be like, oh, if I like the girl, then yeah, sure. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so so he, the man is asking for permission for every girl that right. follows him. Yeah. That's, that's if he could follow them back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that one. Asking my girl yeah. if I could follow a girl back. Yeah. What do you, how do you feel about it the other way though for, for your girl? I wouldn't expect her to like ask me for every dude that follows her. Nah, yeah. nah. I would. Even with my even with my guy's friends, if the if his friends are following me, I always ask, like, hey, or I go like, Hey, this person followed me. Mind if I follow back? Mm. Oh, yeah. even if it's like friends. Even if it's friends. Because I, I I don't do anything that I don't want my guy to do mm. so yeah i mean i think that's just fair. She, she's over there nodding you agree with this oh i 100 percent agree <laughs> yes <laughs> i knew dude i hear no lies Bro. No, but you know why i'm a very possessive girl no yeah and from the start i tell them that i'm possessive i'm just like hey what's your one red flag i'm like possessiveness <laughs> <laughs> i'm perfect okay Bro, but these other two are than the that, same people right no, now but yeah. i love also, you it's also okay because she would never do that either exactly she would never do it so he shouldn't do it either yeah mm-hmm. there's no double yeah. standard here there's none right. yeah exactly that's fair that is fairness yeah i wouldn't go to vegas with my girlfriends only and go party if i don't want you to do that yeah i would be i would go with them but i'll be gambling okay mm-hmm. yeah i just and think not like to any men <laughs> i just think like micromanaging like your partner's instagram whoa, whoa, followers whoa. it's not micromanaging that's literally no, what it is like, i think it's fall? respect like mu- like My literally <laughs> if she if she doesn't like it then you you communicate that with yep. your man yep. and if he's like why do you care? Or like, or it's just like, then you don't have to be with me. There's yeah. plenty of men. There's <laughs> plenty of men that are like, okay, like that's, un- I don't, I don't understand it, but I respect that. Mm. Yeah. And I won't do it because that makes you happy and that makes you feel secure, whatever the case mm-hmm. is. 
Damn. Wait, okay, so then you so currently, your 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 boyfriend is yeah. asking you every time if he wants to follow somebody back. Oh, you don't back. even follow girls back. Okay, ever. but what if they? What oh, if he what knows that? Man. Obviously, huh? it shouldn't be a random girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that's like clearly obvious. But mm-hmm. what if it was like, oh, like you know, this is like my friend's cousin yeah, that yeah, I yeah, met yeah. at the family barbecue party. Should, could I follow her back? <laughs> friend's cousin, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, nobody gives unless, a shit about friends, unless cousin. Unless it's your direct cousin, family member, <laughs> yeah, anyone yeah, in the inner bro. Wait, wait, inner okay. Chain? Does it matter then also the level of attractiveness the girl is that they're Ooh. asking? Ooh. Low key. That's a good question. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> but, yeah, bro, so okay. one through ten, it doesn't matter what where they rank. As long as it's a girl, you're like, no. Like I said, um, if she's posting thirst traps, no unless you like say oh this person followed me and i follow them back because of this and i'm just like all right like i'm like shark tank you know i'm one of the sharks shark i'm just like hey <laughs> present me with an idea and i uh, let, let's see oh, let's i'm see. imagining your boyfriend oh, pulling up with oh. a fucking powerpoint presentation <laughs> oh. so this girl works at this company and if we become friends she could help me in this way please like, may yeah, i yeah. follow her back I'm just like yeah okay fine <laughs> yeah okay. yeah we have a follow-up then like in the relationship should you like ask your partner like oh is it okay if i go out to this like should they ask you if they're allowed to go somewhere um not allowed but be like hey um mm, they're planning to they're planning to do this you know um and i feel like i should go uh-huh. because you know what if it's a business or whatever or right. it's a friend's party um i feel like if there are other girls there you should invite me and if there are, if it's just the guys thing, I'm just going to be like, oh, uh, depends. What are you guys going to do? Oh, wow. You know? What, what would you say no to if it was a guys thing? I mean, obviously the strip club, you know? Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. No, no, no. Obviously, like, if they're, if they're, also, there are certain, like, guy friends that I may not trust. Ooh, mm. that's bad. Yes. Wu-Tok being yeah, one of them. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Wait. Friends is such a thing. Say you're kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, good. No, I trust, <laughs> I trust you. You're my you're my friend. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let I'm me glad ask I ranked there. She called me an acquaintance. <laughs> oh, by like the way, episode four hundred. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're, if you're, yeah, um, if you're watching this and you're like, oh, that's why she's single. You know what? Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, because I know one of you guys are gonna be like, oh, she's so possessive. That no wonder. Blah blah blah. Guess what? Yeah. Shut what, the what? fuck up. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Shut up. Guess, guess what? Yeah, guess what? <laughs> what are we guessing? Yeah. What are we guessing? <laughs> I don't even know what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Oh. I'm allowed to have my own like boundaries, you know, and things that I don't totally agree. want my right, man to right. do. Yeah. Because and the it's thing only is, up to your man to accept yeah. them or not. Right. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'd rather be single than have a man that's not going to be like, oh, I don't like, I don't like how you think this way and I'm not going to respect it. It's just like, then I don't want a man. That's facts. Mm-hmm. So you're saying like, if you had a man and he said no, like, I'm going to yeah. still follow this girl. You yeah. would break up with them? Hell yeah. That's oh, crazy wow. to say I'm still going to follow this girl. Yeah. That was oh, wild. Oh, is that feel, crazy? Yes. They Jason would feel that. They, they would Jason feel would do that. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I can't Hey, wait. Okay, wait. What if it's like... Hold on. If it's for business? Yeah, like what if it's a... What if he has a good reason and you out of... For whatever reason, you're like, no. Because you're being... It's not like girls are never irrational about their decisions about these things, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, so what if he's like, no, I met this girl at this business function. You look and she's just sm- fire. She's a 10 out of 10. Right. She followed him first. You're getting weird vibes from it. But he's like, now nah, there's like legitimate reason I need to follow her back. And you're just like, no, I don't like it. What does yeah. he need from the business? Exactly. Money? Exactly. Who knows? Exactly. Maybe she works at a VC. What's that your he bank account? What's your routing number and account number? I'll send that right now. You what don't if, need her. What if you, can't, what if you can't send that much? Shoot her a fucking email then. There's. Exactly. No, no, no. Exactly. Okay, okay. But I'm already getting heated. This is a podcast. This is a podcast. These my are all hypotheticals. My future man will not want me to take this off, so don't <laughs> anger me anymore. These are all hypotheticals. <laughs> but following some, if somebody follows you and you don't follow them back, and it it definitely sends a message of like. I don't fuck with you know what I'm saying I like know. it, kind of I, it yeah. definitely does especially in a professional setting exactly it, you have and to if it was anything work related yeah it's low key, that's just how it is yeah and you're saying that you would do it on a case-by-case basis but would you ever be irrational like that where you might be like yo no nah, no way she's too she's too fine like you can't you can't follow this woman and maybe she's posting thirst traps um I usually I usually pray to God <laughs> yeah, and and I and I say, thank you, God, for letting my man be so smart. Because you have to, you have to manifest. It, you know I mean, you have to, right. you have to thank yeah, God yeah, yeah, yeah. before you know, before you know, he he grants you know yeah. you the you what you want you know. So you, you gotta what, you gotta thank him first, and 
Yeah. Um, I think, okay, we're humans, right? So obviously, if it is a better looking girl, I'm gonna feel more threatened. That's just mm. how. Yeah, yeah, that's course. just how it is. Mm. Right. But like, I'm gonna just you know be upfront. You know, it's because of the girl, obviously. <laughs> I be, I feel like if it was a less good looking girl, I wouldn't feel as. Yeah. I'll admit it. I'll yeah, admit yeah, it. Yeah. 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 Hey, but men be cheating with girls that are not cute. Only yeah. shitty men. That is, yeah, that's yeah. so true. So I'm just like, I can't even trust your one ugly woman. <laughs> 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 well, at that point, it's like, why? Why are you dating? Yeah, them? that's something I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't date. Yeah. Period. I would not date a man that doesn't respect my boundaries. Because mm-hmm. the thing is, I will respect your boundary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you're like upfront about it from I'm the beginning. Up, yeah, yeah, from the beginning. And if you didn't like what I said in the beginning, you didn't have to date me. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's honestly what I'm saying. like a crazy thing to bring up in the first time you like meet someone. Like, yo, I'm gonna like, oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna micromanage your Instagram followers. <laughs> like, <laughs> are you down to date? Like, you, you, guys, know what I'm you, know what I'm you guys, you guys are showing your pussy and your dicks out in the first date. <laughs> why, oh, why, why, are you, why are you guys not afraid to do that? But you guys are hey, afraid to good, tell good you straight up. So real. You're so real. Literally. You yeah. guys are like here, like suck on my titties, but you know, oh. like <laughs> you're so real. Come on, so really? Right. You're so yeah. That's like the most vulnerable state, and you guys yeah, can't you even talk about real either. like communication stuff. Yeah, right, that's bad. Uh, we, we can't win. We can't win this yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you thought you could fight point. me on here? Just <laughs> <laughs> <I was> kidding. <laughs> uh, damn, I had a question about the Instagram thing. Well, I got mm. a different question. If, if no, yeah, it's, it's completely gone. Yeah. yeah, it's for everyone. But I was just gonna say, what's scarier, like settling for the wrong person? Or being forever alone. Oh, Ooh, settling. settling for the wrong person for sure. Person being forever yeah. alone though. Oh, one hundred percent. Really? Yeah. Because I feel like forever alone, you are just at your, you're just at your your neutral, right? Like no one's made your life better. But if you're with the wrong person, your life is actively worse than it yeah. would have been. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. more of one of those situations where it's like you're already married to this girl. Things are going okay, mm-hmm. but in the yeah. back of your brain, you're kind of like, ah, oh, like she's like second. She's not yeah. your true love. Yeah, she's yeah, not yeah, the yeah. true love. You know what I, mean? I don't believe in true love. I don't believe in oh. I don't believe in soulmates. Mm. Really? What do you? Wait, why? Yeah. I believe in God. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I do. But anyways, um, I don't believe in soulmates because I feel like there's no right person for you. You have to work it out. Both people have to work it out in order for it, it to work. You guys could be like super like compatible in every way but like i don't know totally agree with that you know what i mean like yeah. it's just you, you you still have work to do you, do. Yeah. you know one million percent yeah and if I one person like, decides not to it's not gonna work yeah and i feel like with the rise of how accessible media has become to everyone yeah. every way that media portrays what love looks like is the soulmate ideology like mm-hmm. the second i met this person i knew type shit mm-hmm. when in reality it's just like point blank fact not like that yeah. like the, anytime you really feel that way about somebody off the rip without you, without you really knowing them that is straight lust like you just want to fuck this person that's just infatuation yeah, yeah. That is true. like even if it's their brain or their personality that made you into them it's still a version of lust you know what i'm saying you're yeah. not you don't know them at their deepest darkest ways mm-hmm. and you think you're in love it's and it's like it's like there's been this whole crazy psyop ploy to make everyone think that to to act on lust rather than like trying to build on love yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I kind of think like that though. I kind I romanticize everything, and I'm like a hopeless romantic. So I yeah. do think. That, I mean, if it's like not like a soulmate, but there's a person that's willing to like un- change for you. Mm. you know what I mean, so mm-hmm. that's like your person. Exactly. Yeah. 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 More someone that's willing to work with you to grow. Yeah. 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 In, and that and can ultimately true. be anybody, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's like my definition. So. Even that word hopeless romantic, like the word hopeless is there because it is, is like legitimately a hopeless situation if you think like that, I feel like. Yeah, I'd rather, yeah, but back to your question, I'd rather be alone because I feel like if you can't be happy with yourself, you can't even be happy with another person anyways. Right. So, um, yeah. Big true. Also, I have a lot of cats. I love cats. I could just have a <laughs> house full of cats Yeah, and, and dogs. you'd be content for real? Hell you? yeah. Really? Dude, my, my dream... Okay, why am I talking about my passions? But my dream in <laughs> life is to have like a pet sanctuary where all the <laughs> cats, ass. all the stray cats and dogs could live in that huge mansion and they could either get a, stay until they get adopted or stay until they get old and die. Yeah, I feel like a lot of girls want that whole pet farm shit these days. Remember yeah. Violet Myers was yeah. talking about I want a farm. I want a farm when I get older. I want like a cow and chicken and pigs and everything. Yeah, I would also like a farm. I love that. Oh, I want a ranch. And I want a ranch where I'm rich enough that I don't have to do any of the work. But like it it exists for me to retreat to, you know? I don't want to like work the ranch. Yeah. And we could go like pet that horse like once in a while, you know what I mean? 
<laughs> I get like fresh <laughs> egg. <laughs> <laughs> she has a horse just to pet it once in a while. Like, good horsey. All right, goodbye. See you next month. You have Settling question? is a nightmare. Oh yeah. Wait, that actually like leads me to another question. But um, do you think having a girlfriend or boyfriend is a distraction from your career for you? Like, is it possible to manage both? Yeah, but it, it, it's possible because so this is the way I look at it. I, I've chosen a life path. That requires a lot of attention, way more than a career would have, right. yeah. way more than a lot of other paths it could have taken. Yeah. And um, it's not like it is a distraction because like you, you can have balance, but you can't also have balance and expect to make big progress in your life. Right. If you want to make really big progress in anything, you have to be completely unbalanced. Like you have to live and breathe that shit, mm-hmm. yeah. which is the stage of life I'm in right now. Mm-hmm. So if I'm doing all that and anything else is kind of second priority in that moment, I don't want to live like that forever. Who wants to live like that forever? I want to work like this now so that I have the perfect life I want later when I can access that balance. But I know when I activate balance in my life, I'm not going to be making gigantic strides in whatever I'm doing because it's just the nature of things. So it sounds like it's almost impossible. To right balance now. it equally both. Uh, no, it's possible, but you got to be okay with not making All gigantic progress. progress oh, right, and right, yeah, right. so I don't need to be building startups when I'm 35. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I should be chilling. You know, so it's like mm-hmm. that's like ideally like I want to get to an age where I'm beyond chilling, and then I can focus on relationships and my family and yeah, yeah. and having 35 children. And yeah, like this is something I didn't understand like a while ago, even with my ex too. Like mm-hmm. balancing work life and relationship. I thought you really could do both, mm-hmm. but like honestly, like me being in the position I am right now, I do want like a partner in my life, but I'm like honestly so busy. Like yeah. even on the weekends, like. Also, this like this job requires us to go out to clubs and like you know meet people and stuff like that. So that's hard to so do. So you say you should say, be tough, <laughs> well, Megan. You say you're too busy for a man's right now. Honestly, I'm a little too busy for because also really? I'm working my nine to five. Really, really? 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 You, your voice what? started falling apart. <laughs> Why are you pressing me about this? Hold on, this is this shit, a, okay? is this fact or cap? Huh? <laughs> for real though, no, no, because no, no, no. because because. <laughs> I work out every day. You, oh, oh, you work out. <laughs> oh, she works out. No, no, I forgot no, about that. Listen, <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Let me talk, okay? I literally spit my schedule around my workout, and I'm working oh. a nine to five. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nine to five. Are you doing nine to five? No, you're not doing nine to five. You I doing, am. Yeah, yeah. Yo, she's doing nine to five, and but I'm man. not doing I, I'm doing it. Ooh. 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 But I also like going out, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> there, that, there we go. There we that, go. That's there what was missing. Hey, there's no... There's <laughs> You're at the age that it's okay. Like, that's a normal desire to have. Yeah. Wait, is. Jennifer, aren't you guys long distance? Yeah, How are. is that? Uh, Honestly, it's pretty hard, but if you both want it, it's... Wait, how long distance? Like, where is he? Uh, In, a, like, Bay Area. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. not too far. Okay, yeah, yeah, not too far. Okay. That's, like, doable. Yeah. Because we had a conversation about that on our podcast, and we were like, long would distance. you guys do long distance? We all said no. Wait, yeah. you wouldn't? Because it's, you it's wouldn't? too tough. But that's it's, also it's because, like, tough. we're all alone like there's no like pos- we're not in a position where we have someone in our lives where we're like what well, for them yeah you know yeah, what i'm saying like and you know? and i used to say that until i was in love and then it was like wherever you go i'll be here yeah <laughs> <laughs> just come back <laughs> you gotta find someone that makes it like worthwhile exactly yeah what if it was like three years you're worrying about to see that person though three years yeah, like, oh. like like i could never see him for three years yeah like okay like jail army prison oh, jail? He's, in, he's in jail Ooh, you know what i had this combo with my man I'm gonna wait. No, 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 wait, yeah, no, no. for real? No. Yeah, I think I would. You're a real I would one. Too. The world needs more of you. Dude, three years is not that long. Okay, five years. It's pretty five? long, dude. Ooh, wait, Jennifer, what, it, but it depends on what he's done, right? Right, right. Yeah. right. Okay, so let's, let's just say, because okay. you don't want to be a ride or die yeah. for a yeah. for a guy that's a murderer. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, if you murdered somebody for like doing something really bad to your family, fine, I'll wait for you, whatever, mm-hmm. right? But if you murder someone because you're just a hothead, Angry, yeah. yeah, hell no, dude. Oh, you, no. Do not be a ride or ride or die chick. Let's for say that. he got framed. Let's say he got set up and he had to take the plea deal. Oh yeah, and it was five years. You know what? Even if he did some tax fraud, I'm waiting. Oh yeah, tax fraud yeah. is great. You're you know a hero. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. like that kind of stuff. But if it's like violent stuff, mm-hmm. um, I would have to reconsider, obviously. Mm-hmm. But so let's say the crime was like honorable. You guys, oh, you guys would wait. Yeah. yeah, I would wait. There's no way though. I'm not in love. There, I, I don't. I can't even, I can't there, even relate Paul, there's a way. I don't believe this because me personally, my dad was in jail for a long time, right? Mm-hmm. And going through that, like you're not. You're not touching them. Like, it's different. Like, for three years. You didn't wait years, for your dad? No, I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> you're like, dad? No, but you question it a lot. Yeah. Because you're like, is it really worth waiting this while? Because he's not doing shit for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So your man won't provide for you. You won't 
have Actually, your sexual you're right, pleasures. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, three years. Wow. He he yeah. brings a good ass points. Yeah. Oh, so, sure. you, so you just flip flopped. No, <laughs> no, no, no. But I understand because no, honestly, it's easier said than done. Exactly. Way it's easier said than done. I, I would have to reconsider for sure. You, so, you yeah. bring up a good on point. social media, you're gonna be jealous as fuck seeing all your homies with their partner going eating all these good yeah. foods, going to the fair, all these dates. That's true, but yeah. in my opinion, even if I wait three years, three years later, I could still find someone else. Like I want to finish with wasted three years of what life like life. wasting wasting my like time with someone else that might like, not even be worth it. You know what That's I mean? True. Like That's I could always find someone three years later. Yeah, because I'm true. still me. Here's what I here's what yeah. I think. This is the normal thing that happens with these relationships is that when it's that long, mm. and it's most girls have options. You end up meeting somebody that feels literally like what, yeah, like he was just saying. Right. All of those things are like a void inside of you. Exactly. And it's like legit. Like it's just and then you have a man. You're supposed to be exclusive. But, yet you don't yeah. get any of the things that a relationship provides. Exactly. You just meet that one guy that does all the right things. <laughs> and it's like game. O like it's game. O it's like in your mind. It's like why this guy is filling all these needs that I've been looking for. Maybe he's exactly your type. Maybe he's even better. Who knows? And you're just like, and my man, I'm waiting for a guy sitting in jail right now. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? What even would be our future when he comes exactly. out? Yeah. God, that is so right. Yeah. <laughs> and like you said, soulmates, I also, I'm on Esther's boat. I don't think soulmates are real. I think you have so many people that you could personality-wise mesh with. And it depends on, are you willing to work through their bullshit with them? And are, are you both at the same are you both on the same vibration where you can both work on mm. shit? You know what I mean? Because if you're, if you're a far higher vibration than somebody it won't work because one person's willing to work and one person's mm -hmm. not, right? But like, if you match that way and you're willing to work and that's all it takes, so you'll probably meet like seven of those people in three years. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. depending on how much you go out. But like, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, it's frustrating to not have your needs met. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Especially for like that <sighs> amount of time. Yeah. Exactly. That, that conversation just stressed me out. I was just thinking yeah, about no, like honestly, three years the, with, my like, butt's <laughs> sweating on this chair. <laughs> I will wipe it later after <laughs> this, but. Like my love language is quality time and like physical touch too. So mm -hmm. within yeah. three years, like, like behind a glass wall. Hey, imagine yeah. being behind the glass wall and you got to do the hand you thing. Dude, the hand thing. And bro. the telephone thing, you know? Yo, when I was a kid, right? So when my dad first got locked up, I did all that bullshit. <laughs> and then I, th I thought about it like a year later. Like, what was I doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, on like, the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Oppa, Oppa. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing right now. Yeah, that's fucked like, up. Like, like, like that's you're fucked kissing up. your hand. You're yeah, yeah, your I'm hand. like, yeah, I'm <laughs> Yeah, no way. Yeah, thinking back, it was just like, what was I doing? I feel like it's normal. I would do that it shit. Is. Yeah. It, it is. Yeah. I guess so. You're like on the phone. You're like, holding yeah, that's your hands wild. Are you talking to them. Oh. Is it different if like a girl goes to jail and a versus like a guy goes to the jail? The guy definitely not waiting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The guy's not waiting. The guy is not waiting. No, the yeah. guy's not waiting. I will wait? give that to women. I feel like women are far more down to <laughs> wait in a situation. Yeah. Men yeah. need sex. I feel like mm. literally. Mm. No, not me. They, I don't need that shit. Oh, please. <laughs> also, I feel like girls just don't go to jail. Like, I just... <laughs> <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, no, statistically... I, I, I know yeah, guys that have been in jail. Yeah. I don't know a girl that's been in jail. I mean, statistically, women go to jail way less. Yeah. 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 Someone didn't watch Orange is a New Black. Oh, I watched a lot. I watched multiple seasons of that shit. <laughs> They do. <laughs> I mean, no, they you do. You can do everything I, that men no, can do. No. That's gonna, <laughs> this is not the right time. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can have that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, men can keep that one. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, well, changing lanes completely. I have a different question for everybody. Uh -huh. This just in general. Do you think guys or girls are more like horny? Oh, guys. Guys. Because I don't know. I feel guys like are girls horny. are equally as like they need their sexual pleasures met. I, I know a lot of girls like that. Yeah. 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 Also, guys are just more vocal about it. They talk about it more. Well, yeah. You and Jennifer are very vocal about that shit. I feel like you guys are just as horny as a guy. Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think with girls, if... <sighs> hmm. I feel like Actually, girls are not everybody. I feel like girls are hornier for like the person that they want. Yeah. And then guys are horny... Period across the yeah, board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. That's I'm horny because I'm in love, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but like I. Too, good for you, Jennifer. Dude, I've heard yeah. recently that girls are as horny, if not more horny that's than guys. They just don't talk about it as much. I, feel I was more in my last relationship. Exactly. I had a high yeah. Time. yeah. But I feel like that's what it takes. It takes a relationship. Like a girl wants mm, to yeah. be horny for like one guy exactly. versus a guy mm. given the power to. 
and the ability to would fuck everything that moves. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, so I'm abstinent. So, yeah. yeah. This is yeah. exactly why I'm abstinent. Yeah, and I'm these are <laughs> very big generalizations. These are, it is. Yeah. But like, so the average person we're talking about, not everyone. Don't come in the comments being like, no, I... Would ne- <laughs> like that? I don't, I'm not talking about you. I don't even know you. <laughs> you know, exactly. I hate those comments. Exactly. I'm like, do you know how a podcast works? I don't know who you are. I'm talking about general. Yeah. yeah. You guys get a lot of hate in the yeah, comments. No, you guys are like, like, the dumbest. No PTSD we always there. have our fists like, up like yeah. this. Like. We just always gotta be fighting. I will, we're all very opinionated people on the podcast. Yeah. So obviously, people come back with their opinions. But it's yeah. like, dude. Mm-hmm. Are you? Like that too. Yeah, you're bugging. Like I'm not talking about you. You yeah. acting yeah. like I'm personally attacking you. Like no, that's yeah. true. just because you have an anecdotal different experience does not change the general rule. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I wish I had that same energy as Vit because Vit's like literally like fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> to the camera, oh, he'll, like, he'll double down too. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Now nah, that that's not like we got to work on that for <laughs> you, know, you know. It is it's good to it's good he, it's good in a sense. It's just he's it's like it's too much one way. You know what I mean we gotta balance it a I have more. a question. In a relationship, are would you say you're the one to initiate more or not to initiate? Sex? Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like that's because I'm the guy. Um you, you stay initiating. Yeah, I feel like usually it's the guy that has to. Most of the time. It's not like I think if I, I was ever in a relationship where it was me 100% of the time, it would make me feel bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, like, naturally, I think it's just, like, I'm going to want sex more often. Yeah. She's like, yeah. oh, okay, fine. Oh, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll leave. I'll be like, yeah. I'll do the thing where I, bend over. I don't want it anymore. You made me feel bad. I'm going to sleep. What about you, Esther? Me? I'm um, curious. Do I initiate it more or the guy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I would say like I'm like 40 percent or 30 percent and then the that's guy. pretty oh. high yeah that's pretty high I mean when I wanted you yeah. better get your you better pull <laughs> no, your see, pants I, down no, and say good. yes yeah. thank you no guys thank love you. <laughs> yes please <laughs> I'd say a healthy would be 60 40 70 30 split yeah. that's a healthy relationship really of, yeah really. I think it needs to be 60 40 or 50 50 really yeah because I think 30 percent no it will never be 50 50 you don't think? I don't Dude, think it's really? I don't Dude. think it'll be. 50, I actually 50. had this conversation with my girl okay. because it's literally a hundred zero. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally, it's oh, literally a hundred zero. Really? And it's like Wait, you're a hundred, right? Just to confirm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the yeah, yeah. I'm the hundred. I'm the hundred. <laughs> you're the hundred. Definitely, right? my sex drive is higher, uh-huh. and like we both know that. Uh-huh. But she's just more on the shyer side. Yeah. She's, yeah. So she's just not trying to do that. I see. You know what I'm saying? Wait, so she's down for it when you initiate, but she yes, doesn't yeah, want to yeah. initiate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay. she's down. She's down. She's down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's just not trying to, like, she's not the type to just, like, get on top and then mm. start making out. She's right. not aggressive. She's not. Yeah. Ex- but exactly what I mean yeah. is that it takes a dominant, like, sexual desire to start to, to initiate yeah. sex. Yeah. 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 To, like, find it hot to do that. Some girls don't find it hot when they have to do that either. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they want their man to be doing that. And then that turns them on, and then they want sex. Yeah. Yeah. See, honestly, I would, uh, if you really want to fuck, but you, you're too scared to ask, I would just put on a sexy movie. And when the, when the, <laughs> the, 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 the you know, the pornographic that's part that's of the movie comes movie. on. Give an example. Just, 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 just. She's like Wally. What's no? What's what's that? What's to- that? Toy one, Story. What's that one? What's that one movie? Uh, is that a show? I think it's a show where there's like Spartans. Spartans. Oh, Game of Thrones. Oh, Game of Thrones. No, but that one's pretty sexy. Three hundred. The movie. Yeah, that, that, no, oh, it's. A, I think it's. A, 365, 365, the one with thing. Michael on Marone on the boat. On the boat. Dude, no. No, wait, what do you mean by Spartans? Anyways, anyways, just a What sec- kind of movies you watch? Just, just, just shows or movies that has a lot of sex in it. Yeah. And then, you know, and then, you know, just start. Just start touching them, like being cuddly with them, and then, right. and then when you see that little thing sprouting up, be like, oh, I see. Is that what you want right now? You know what I love and then, to do. Yeah. What do you love to do, like when we're laying down, you gotta like scoot your butt. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. So what is what is your guys's like go to initiation move? Oh. I, ju- I just get naked. Just <laughs> <laughs> hey. Are you like you want me? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't do that. I would just start kissing and then that's yeah. Yeah, yeah, start kissing. Okay. Kissing. Yeah. I would just ask him. I'd be, but be like cute about it. How, what does it ask? Yeah. Yeah. You gonna have sixty times. <laughs> oh, see, that's fire. But like, are you, are you available for sex right now? <laughs> are you available and attentive? I like, just, like, I like go. I like sit on top and like just kind of. Just mm. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. What are some more ways? Oh, she girl- got that egg yolk, huh? Yeah. 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 It's very different the ways girls initiate sex versus guys. Yeah. I feel like oh, yeah. so. Like scooting the butt <laughs> is one thing. Scooting the girls butt. are more like subtle. Yeah, yeah. Like, very subtle. Yeah. 
But I feel guys are just. You know, put your hand. You know, put your hand there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would like, I would, like mess with their like pants line. Ooh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that that's too. dirty. Give them a little wedgie. Yeah. That's dirty. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love that. I'm imagining Esther's way of it's just bullying them. Like, give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm like, I learned this from Megan. <laughs> she told me. <laughs> He's like, who's Megan? <laughs> I hate her. <laughs> Stop hanging out with Megan. <laughs> Do you think it's bad in a relationship if it's like a hundred percent to zero? Yeah. You if were. it remains that way forever, yeah. then yeah. I think inevitably it'll make you feel like, why am I always initiating? Because eventually yeah. you get uh, more comfortable with that person, you know? Yeah, that's right. true. Yeah. But how do you even like fix that? Because like eventually the girl just gets used to y- the guy yeah. initiating. You just have to be, you tell them. Be like, you know what? Like, I just feel weird of always like you gotta, the yeah, one, you like gotta asking, like, yep. you know, sometimes it'd be kind of nice. Yeah, it makes me feel like a burden, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, do you yeah. want it or, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and then just, but if she doesn't know it's an issue, like, she'll yeah. never consider it an issue. Yeah, 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 yeah she true. gotta know. Yeah. That's true. Wait, for the girls, what do you guys think about a guy who doesn't really initiate like that? Oh, Say I it's I like 20% that. and you're 80. Oh, oh my that. God. That you hate me, that? That was me like, in my last relationship. I feel like I initiated more. Wait. So then I've died it. I felt like. That's you know, crazy. What? Wait, and what was the reason? Did you ever ask? Well, no, no. It was because like when we were talking, our talking stage, we would like do it so much. Mm. Like all the time. Oh. And then once we started dating, it got like less mellowed throughout through the relationship. Like by the end of it, it wouldn't be as much. It was mm. literally the opposite where I wanted it all the time and he didn't. Mm-hmm. But I think it was just like. I don't know. I think I don't. I, f- I think maybe he like felt used, but it wasn't even like you that. No, no, no. It's like, it's like, no, no, no. Bro, like, so I'm like, just a stick the, to you. The person. I think Jennifer said this one time. Yeah, yeah. But it's yeah, like yeah. the mean, person that initiates more feels like they don't want. They don't want. Oh, like, yeah. Like they don't feel wanted, especially if and that's then, the girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. the guy will feel used. Yeah. In a way, Wait, you know really? what I mean? Well, like I mean. If, reverse whether like who's like initiating more or not yeah, yeah. no because i kind of disagree because me like especially in the beginning stages of a relationship like say you're not dating yet i'm the type to wait for the girl because i feel like it makes her want it more and from what i've seen personally like girls like fall for that for sure mm-hmm. like they'll take initiative and they're like yo why is he not trying to fuck yeah you know and the next thing you know they turn into a freak because yep. they're like i need to get it out i of believe me. in paul because he's the only one that's not single <laughs> for sure Wait, no, whatever they're all, they're all about no 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 i meant i meant guy the no, guy he, the guy has a girl too I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's a recent she's, thing hey, though. It's she's, a recent she's 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 zero you're a hundred yeah. 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 that. that is the problem though that is the problem yeah uh, i believe in what paul says yeah, so. yeah, yeah. you gotta give kanye west for real you gotta give us a tips because yeah. uh that's hilarious your brother paul right there <laughs> <laughs> you really like that one <laughs> what was the original question you asked the original question no no what did you say after why did i answer that Oh, the question, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, when the guy's not initiating. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. So mine is a little different. Okay. Uh, my last ex boyfriend, uh, actually, the most recent ex boyfriend, yeah. Um, he never initiated sex, right? And. <laughs> And I was like, what the hell? He's like, he's more like a shy, like nerdy type, okay. right? Mm-hmm. And I was just like, oh, maybe he's just shy, you know? And like, he doesn't have much experience, you know? And then later on, I found out he was cheating on me the whole time. <laughs> well, I, basically, I was the mistress. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so he, so, so the thing is, he had a whole ass girlfriend in Korea. So, yeah. Uh, where was he? Where was he? <sighs> no, 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 no. So he lives in LA. Oh. Right? And I live in LA. But his girlfriend yeah. lives in Korea. So I had no idea he had. Right, right, right. Yeah. He was going to Korea? But, like no. But that he, means he's, he's not fucking her or you then. Yeah, yeah, but then, but I, no, 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 I'm, t- the reason why he was not initiating it, because he felt guilty. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Why he's just dating So, like, yeah, so, so, like, I would always have to initiate it, and then, like, later on, it just made sense, like, the reason why he never initiated it is because, like, he felt guilty. So, are you trying to say, like, if a guy doesn't initiate, then he's cheating on No, you? I said, I said, <laughs> no, no, I said in the beginning that mine is a little different. Like, oh, okay, it's not okay, always, okay. but, like, no, I no, realized okay. the reason why he was initi- initiating mm. was because he was cheating. Because mine, I, like, know for a fact that he wasn't cheating on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mine was, yeah, mine was yeah. that. Do you think a relationship will last if the, if your guys' sex drives are different? No. No, it's not gonna last. No, no. I don't think no. so. I think that ties into like you got to be on the same vibration as somebody. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. Your desires match up, your goals, your values, mm-hmm. your ability to work on yourselves. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. Goes, we asked a question in our last pod. Would you rather have it like really good like once a week 
or like kind of mid four to five times a week or I like i don't want anything mid in my life yeah ever. same yeah. <laughs> really good once a week yeah, if it was I'm okay really good that. then i'd so just do it more times a yeah, week yeah. though like, like, do, you guys have, do you guys have a high or <laughs> really oh, high or low said that because yeah. he said yeah <laughs> <laughs> he said yeah Jesus wait, wait. said that wait we <laughs> talk do you masturbate often no i never masturbate oh that me up bro yeah very bad for you 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 still do that I do do that. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I Jason? Do. Stop that shit, Jason. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's childish, right? Yo, yeah, yeah, honestly, it's, destro <laughs> it's destroying you. It's destroying you. Jennifer's like, no, stop it. Bro, this is what I said last episode. Yeah. But there's no way I'm nothing once a week for the rest of my life. There's no way. Really? There's no way. I'm what, 22, but why, but bro. Why is there, why is there no way? Once Just a week? Like, it's because he has high tea. Like I mean, I got, high, <laughs> bro, I, got, I got high libido. I got high libido. And also, look into like uh, why the Tao. Is, like, there's a lot of like cultures that practice semen retention, and just like look into why and what that does. Yeah. And it's uh, honestly, I feel like it'll help you in, in many aspects of your life. Maybe that's what you need. You just need to keep it in a little bit. And, and sexual energy is also very, very powerful, especially a man's, right? Because like when a woman orgasms, they're not losing eggs. You're losing sperm every time you orgasm. Ooh. Your sperm is literally life. It creates life. That's how powerful sperm is. Yeah. No, and I you are just that. squandering it into a tissue. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> over <laughs> over <laughs> images <laughs> over <laughs> images of another man but fucking when, a woman we'll you talk, think we'll is talk, hot. We'll talk. When you were 22, you tell me you weren't masturbating? Oh hell yeah! But I yeah, learned yeah. information. <laughs> I learned if I knew the information I knew later, like yeah. I, I basically slowed down on it at like twenty three or twenty four when I started to learn about like why is it that this is important and like why what the fuck is the purpose of no fap November like why are people doing that and it was like oh like there's some ancient wisdom here makes total sense and then and also like I was getting into all this conspiracy shit we'll we'll mm -hmm. skip over that mm -hmm. but regardless it was like dude this shit is so valuable and I just fucking. Right, right. Toss it into the garbage can once a week, once a day. <laughs> like that is, makes no sense. If I don't do it, that's all I think about. What? But that's the thing. Okay, so that's what I mean by. <laughs> what? Dude, this is revealing some. Yeah. That's what I mean, that's, and that's a natural Jennifer, thing. Tell him again. That's a natural that's childish. thing. Childish. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a natural no, no, it's thing for a young man. Like, no, even if we, if I'm with a girl. Uh huh. Like, if I'm not fucking her, uh -huh. that's all I'm thinking about. Like, yeah, yeah, because oh, it's, it's just not, sex it's drive. It's not about jerking off. It's but that's the thing, right? You have sexual energy. All yeah. energy is just different versions of it. You can transmute that into, like, working harder. You know what I'm saying? And that's what, like, it. think of how you feel after you nut. You're like, oh, I'm lazy. I don't want to <laughs> do shit. But my head's like, clear. Like, no, nah, it's, the, but that's the thing is, like, you have this fucking primal desire and urge to fucking work to get something. And you, you can learn to transmute that energy into, like, let me let me work on the podcast. Let me edit more clips. Let me figure out how to make more money. But yeah. No, you're so right. I can't yeah. even argue with that. But next what time you sit down and you look and that's another thing. Think of the psychological effect of like watching another man fuck a girl you find attractive <laughs> for you to sacrifice your kids into a tissue. Like it's just it sounds sad, you know what I'm saying? No, if you does, word it, it like that, and you're like, I don't want to do that shit no more. Dude, next time Jason does, he's gonna be like, just think of me standing in your room, That's your kid. watching you do that, <laughs> being like, are you dead ass right now? Do you guys have a high or low sex drive? Very high, yeah, yeah, high. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about you guys? Ooh. Very high. Uh, yeah, I'm like a medium. Yeah, medium. 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 I'm definitely high. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Dude, you're high, bro. Medium yeah, I'm hilarious. high. Yeah, you're high. You Wait, got but it also medium. depends on like if who it is, though, right? Yeah, right. of course. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys think you guys can get with like a medium level sex drive person? Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Like you're still doing it, but not as yeah. often as you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. Honestly, I'm too busy to, to. I thought about it. I'm yeah. like, dude, I couldn't even see the girl. Like, like once a week would be a lot, you know? And it would be like, oh, really? Yeah. Where Ooh. I would just feel like I'm being irresponsible. Because mm. if like, because for like, uh, for me, for you too, right? If you don't do your work, other people that depend on you yeah. ha have a lower quality of of life, salary, everything because mm -hmm. of your actions, right? So it's like for me, then it's no longer like I'm trying to work hard because I'm greedy. I want more money. It's like fuck, other people need this money too. And yeah, if I true. am just trying to fuck all the time, then it's like then they're gonna lose out because I can't control my urges. So that is true. Yeah. And sex is not everything for me. I like exactly. cuddling. I like going shopping. I like money. Yeah, you I, like, know, like, I, like, I like I like I like peace and quiet. Things, you know, sex? Like, yeah. <laughs> no, I agree. I agree. But going back to kind of what you said, you said you used to date like a kind of nerdier guy, right? Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask all of you guys, what's worse, like a nerdy guy who just started getting women, or like that church guy who just turned into a fuckboy? 
What do you mean by worse, though? In what cap- capacity? Is like, it just who's worse to deal with as a guy? Ooh. Oh, worse to deal with. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck boy? Or like a, a church guy who just turned into a fuck boy? Or that uh, nerdy ass guy who kind of had a little glow up and all of a sudden he's getting some he, attention Yeah, he, th- from and he thinks he's the shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> nerdy guy. I'm going to go with the nerdy guy. I'm going to go with nerdy guy. I'm going to go with the nerdy oh, guy. I think yeah. guys need to go through their, like, frat boy... You know, like all of that phase. You yeah. know their phase. Mm-hmm. Like guys go through a phase. They need to like get over it. You got over it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you saying mm-hmm. you, like they need to get out their system? Yeah. yeah there's yeah. nothing worse than a guy who's never gotten attention that suddenly gets some. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They don't. They don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to deal. They don't know how to react. Mm-hmm. They don't know how to act at all. Hey, give, give an example of what that what they act like. Dude, <laughs> yeah. like a geeked over some like follow shit like that. Like mm. that shit makes me so. No, off. another one is uh when they start acting like they're too good for certain things. Exactly. Yeah. Like that fucking it's like that meme, that TikTok trend of like when your ugly homie got too high of standards. It's like he got laid last week from like a five and all of a sudden it's like ah, she's okay, man. And it's like a fucking a nine out of ten. And you're like, how dare you? You fucking or, Dude, when they called Margot Robbie mid. Oh yeah. Who said that? Yeah, who said I saw that? that. I saw dude, that. this guy uh, was it on Twitter? Yeah, it was on Twitter. Like he was literally just like Margot Robbie is mid and then this guy like zoomed on his profile was like this guy it's, really said yeah. that you know what i mean like what are it's you always serious? some like cretinous looking motherfuckers yeah. judging people by yeah, their yeah, looks the yeah mm-hmm. you give a ugly guy a chance you know what i mean and then they, they, they damn so do you, do you guys believe mm-hmm. that ugly, 100%. for that reason do you guys think that ugly guys deserve no cheeks what? No. no, what? No, we're not saying that, but okay. it's, no. like, it's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, I worded that like I was trying to trap you. <laughs> Ugly but, guys uh, get no cheeks. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, it, there's been, like, situations where, like, he'll get with, like, a super, super hot guy, a hot girl, and then after, they're just, they just think everyone else is, like, they could do so much better, and, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. They forget, yeah. like, the real morals of, they like, people and stuff. who they are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> called, it's called the audacity. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. like, really? Because, I, I, like, some of our porn star friends, like, fucking, uh, they talk about pity fucking dudes mm. a lot, where they're, like, really? especially, like, fans or something, where they're, like, uh. you know, like, all, like, virgins, like, the thing about, like, like uh like jimmy did a video uh-huh. of violet like having sex with a virgin for uh-huh, to like uh-huh. take his virginity and it's like i that guy was a good i'm not using him as an example but it was like they're like oh it gives guys a lot of confidence afterwards like i changed their life yeah. by basically le- like letting them hit but i think a lot of times it usually goes the opposite way yeah where you're not you're, you're changing their life for the worse because you're giving yeah. them this false sense oh. of right. confidence they think they can get porn stars now and yeah shit. Mm. It's yeah, like there's a difference between yeah. confidence and being like egotistical. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying that that kid, that kid is a good kid and yeah, doesn't yeah, seem yeah. like he was doing that. But yeah, I've just seen that happen. It could, it could be like that yeah. is what you're saying. Exactly. Okay. Well, for the guys, is there ever a time where you realistically you see a girl and you're like, oh yeah, she's just too attractive for me? Never. No. She's just what? Too attractive. She's too hot. She's too me. good too for attractive. me. Oh. I'd say definitely there is. Definitely there is. It used to, and then now it. Does. I think what it is is your age. Like girls date up, right? Like especially yeah. in age. So when you're Whoa. 22, it feels like that because yeah. it's like you have all these like kind of things against you. But then you get to a certain age and you realize like, oh, I'm now in the pool that they consider dateable, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And it might be things out of your control. It's not necessarily your looks or your status. It's like age is a really big factor. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys like older or younger? I like I like older women. Oh, yeah. Really? Which sucks because I want to have a lot of kids now and I'm getting up there. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, damn, the clock is ticking for <laughs> us. Yeah. And we're not married yet. Maybe we just start right now. Mm. But yeah. What about you, Esther? Huh? Older or younger? Oh, older for sure. Older for sure, yeah. The girls, I older like, or younger? I like older. I like younger, y'all. I already know. <laughs> <laughs> is your boyfriend, oh, is your boyfriend younger? younger? He is. He's two years younger than me. Oh, oh okay. whoa. Yeah. Yeah. I did not know that. What about oh, uh? Nice. What about you? Me? I've always done older, uh-huh. but my girl now is like basically the same age. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm but like I, uh, younger, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably, huh? I've never like gone someone with the same age. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's either they're old, a year or two older or a year. What's the older. oldest you've ever like gotten with all of you? Oh, yeah, that you've actually gotten with. Like, like gone all the way. Like, what's the oldest older. person you've fucked yeah. Just in your uh, life? Two years older. Two years? Yeah. Okay. I've talked to guys that are like a lot older than me, mm. but I haven't like done anything with them. Okay. Yeah. What's a lot older in the... Um, he was 28, 29. When you were how old? 22. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that's old as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that kind of got to me. Because he was like acting like really 
clingy and like it was weird. Really? Yeah, he was very like he would want to FaceTime me like three or four times a day. Yeah, I f- hate FaceTime. Yeah, I hate. I also hate calling FaceTime. me. I like barely oh, know really? you. Yeah, and what? he's twenty eight and tw- like twenty eight or twenty nine or something. Well, like, did it give you the ick? Cause you're like, what do you go? Don't you got something to do? Like, no, it gave me such an ick. Even though he's like so attractive, he was like, <laughs> like I looked at him, he'd Facetime me, and I'm like starstruck about how attractive wow. he was. Damn. But like, I couldn't get over it because mm-hmm. I was like, what are you doing? Like, why are you calling me this much? Like, don't call me this much. <laughs> I told him I was like, I'm busy. I wouldn't text him for like five hours, and he's like, are you mad? <laughs> what are you talking about? I was in class or something. <laughs> then usually girls are more like okay when the when the guys are good looking, but you're like shut up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, honestly, like personality is so big for me. Like no matter how attractive you are, like this man was so. Attractive. What do you think it is about uh, clinginess from a guy that turns girls off? I think like with me, I have to get clingy with them first before they get clingy with me. Mm. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you guys? Oldest you guys dated? Dated? Yeah. Oldest girl like I, I've talked to seriously was like 10, 10 years older than me. What? Like, oh, wow. Yeah. Is that even is that doable? No, it was not. I mean, I'm not dating her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Mine like for the time me. that you were. Yeah. Was it like? <laughs> <laughs> you miss her? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I liked her a lot. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she was cool. Oh, very cool. like oh, oh, man yeah yeah, yeah we were <laughs> and uh <laughs> <laughs> i i thought i got it i did not i did not get it what about you i thought i was him <laughs> I was <not> him. <laughs> mine was uh eight years older Damn. yeah that, that is a lot too yeah. yeah when you what you realize that like i feel like 25 later like the mm-hmm. age differences matter less when you're 22 28 seems like really old yeah. but then you get to 25 and like 31 you realize like I that's agree. just right there honestly that's yeah. definitely true but i remember jennifer brought this up before but when you talk to older people sometimes isn't it harder to like have the same interest like, and just like yeah like it's for, kind of different for me my it's been easier because for me when i date my age or down if that's when it became hard to to relate because it's uh. like the things they care about the things they want to do just i was just like why does this bother you? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't, re- I didn't relate to that vibrational thing. And then with older people, like, with, or with the certain older girls I have dated, it felt more like we align on the things we like to talk about, mm-hmm. like, you know, just the way they handled life, like, everything, yeah. yeah. Okay, for sure. I mean, this is a question I, I forgot to ask you in the start, but um, just to get to know Esther a little bit more, yeah. like, how did, you go, how did you get into social media? Um, it was quarantine, and we were all locked up. I, I make it sound like we were in prison. Um, <laughs> no, but, we you know, we were stuck were, in, yeah. you know, we were stuck at home and yeah. everyone was doing TikTok, right? Social right, media right. was like yeah. popping during those times. And I was like, oh, TikTok, I would never do TikTok, right? <laughs> because it's so corny. I'm also like, I was also older, you know, mm-hmm. like than the people on TikTok. So I was like, ew. But then I was like, you know what? I'm so bored that I'm going to do it. So I started making TikTok videos and then one of, one of the TikTok videos blew up. Okay. Yeah. And then um, I didn't get famous from that, um, mm-hmm. but <laughs> didn't get famous from that. But that's how it started. And what, I was like, what this kind is of like funny. content you were you posting? Uh, just comedy. Comedy. Yeah, okay. Okay. Comedy. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So from that point, then how did you end up leading on to or getting onto Under the Influence? Mm, okay. So we have a mutual friend. So Jimmy Zhang, he... Oh, Jimmy's been on their podcast too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Shout out Jimmy. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So Jimmy... Uh, was wanted me to be on one of his videos because he was like oh who's an insta thought that we can use right (laughs) and then yeah and then yeah and then so i was like like he was like oh this girl so yeah um he asked me and i was like i'm down Uh and i was in a video with um with you one of one video with wu talk yeah (laughs) <laughs> which is really funny because he thought I was a bitch when, it, yeah, when <laughs> hey, I first when he first saw her. Her role was to play a bitch. That yeah. was literally her role. Yeah. But but he, he didn't and know. And they didn't tell us that yeah. was the point of the video. So yeah, she yeah, came yeah. in and she was just being a bitch. Yeah. And I was like, damn, she's it's mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I yeah. fully believed it. So she did a great job, honestly, because I yeah. fully believe that's who she was. Yeah. But then we weren't obviously like we weren't talking or anything like that. But we did run into each other quite often yeah. uh, because like we had mutuals as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then one day. Yeah. Wu Talk asked me to go on a date with him. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, yeah. And, we've been on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Know this and then, one. yeah. And then, yeah. And then, yeah. We went, yeah, on, mo- we went on multiple dates. Uh, we were like, uh, yeah. this is not right. But Wu Talk mm-hmm. was like, oh, I feel like you would be good for the podcast. Mm-hmm. So he, I, I went on uh, one episode. And then they were, I guess they talked about it. And they were like, oh, we need a girl, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were mm-hmm. looking for a girl. And they were like, oh, I think she's 
good for you know good dynamic yeah it was like she was funny and she would make jokes that like girls don't make usually like yeah. f- like like shock jo- like kind of kind of vulgar jokes where i was like holy yeah. shit like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you just said that like yeah like hey come, come on the pot what are you doing friday like come on the <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, i'm glad you said that though because i wanted to ask you guys like uh-huh. because you guys did go on a date right yeah so yeah. wasn't it hard to transition from that to like kind of co-workers no we didn't like each other yeah like no, no no it wasn't like but there that. was some sort of attraction for you to agree to yeah yeah well, like obviously attracted but it was like going through the <laughs> dates being like oh yeah this is not the person for me yeah, yeah. No, definitely not. i I specifically remember a moment where it was like four in the morning and she's like angry that she's not eating and I'm like motherfucker I was like it's like, it's 4 a.m. why don't we just go to sleep and she's like no I'm hungry and I was like Oh my I would, god. That, okay, so for you, that was an ick, right? For yeah. me, that was an ick. Would, that, was a like, man oh, wouldn't take me out no. to eat. I was like, there's no way that she needs to eat right yeah, now. For yeah, yeah, exactly. For, for we were drinking. Literally. You guys don't like munchies. I'm just like, we dude. already ate at some point in the night before as well. And it was like, I bro, was like, I was like, my man will literally do everything I want. And this is not my man. And I was just like, oh. my, yeah. like a girl mm. I date cannot be trying to eat up for him. It, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we were, we were just not and, like, right. bullying me, bro. It wasn't like, it wasn't like just trying to eat. It was like, why are you not eating right now? What the fuck? Yeah. And I was just like, like. Oh, please. I wasn't like that. It was close. It was close. <laughs> it was you, like, may, you may no, not think it was like that, no, all right? But no. I was trembling. I was like, I'm just going to go to sleep. Oh. Both sides. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was not. You guys, I was not like that. I was just like, I was like, but I'm hungry. Can we order food? No way you, you know, like that. His, no, no, his, no, no way his roommate, his roommate came out and was like, would you like a charcuterie board? And I was like, please. Remember when Eddie was oh, yeah, making yeah. that charcuterie yeah, board? Yeah, Eddie made I was like, wow, board. low key. I was like. Shout out Eddie the man. Yeah, for real. But, um. But yeah, yeah, also because back then he was a whore. <laughs> dude, <laughs> hold dude. on. He, we he also we also knew that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but hold on. Yeah. She was talking to my friend too. <laughs> <laughs> so, so at the same time. No. And that was oh, another factor. Yeah, yeah, and, was, oh. and then he like confessed to me that he was like, yo, like I really like her, blah, blah, blah. And then that was when like I texted her out and I was just like, we should... Like you're all, you're on the show, like was all these the dog? reasons. Yeah. yeah oh my dog. gosh. I, I kind of scared. I thought yeah. that was a child. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, Wait, what was that? But yeah. Sorry. So after his confession was like kind of like final, p- the straw that broke the camel's back, and oh, I was like, please. yeah. You're talking to someone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We don't gotta delve into that. Well, I got a question for Esther. Okay. okay. Yeah. Do you think your life changed after getting on under the influence? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, I'm still lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Very big true. But yeah. I'm saying like out in public, like probably more people are coming up to you, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Not that many though. Not that many. Really? Yeah, yeah, not that many. Um oh God. I think I don't I wouldn't say it's a huge change, but yeah, it's 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 going there. We're looking for a new co host now. <laughs> no, I'm saying no, you were already on social media. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was on social media already and uh yeah, no, it's it's been very, very great. But I'm not gonna. I'm too prideful to say that you guys changed my life. Yeah. So we <laughs> are looking for a new car. <laughs> no, but okay. no. I'm very grateful. I always tell them all the time that like yeah. I'm Mm-mm. super glad that they. She's gave never me a told ch- me once. What are you talking? Okay. What do you think you would be doing if you weren't on the podcast? Me. Um. Right now. What would I be doing? I would probably have opened another restaurant. Yeah. Well, another. Yeah. Oh, what? You already have a show? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Sushi. What? Oh. Wait, plug it. Plug it. No, no, we're not gonna plug it. Oh. She, she, she does. She never. She's talks a businesswoman, yo. We don't plug it. Oh, wow. oh, we actually didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. That's super oh, cool. She got money. <gasps> That's my dream is to open up a restaurant. Like really? Really? What kind of restaurant? Hey, dream know. bigger. I'm not gonna lie. That shit is miserable. Yeah. That shit is hard. I is like it cooking? Was it because you like? Like you like food, you like sushi, or is it because you're trying to like you know businesswoman? Like you're uh to- yeah. So my dad was a sushi chef, so he wanted to get a restaurant. So mm. I was like, fuck it, you know, let's do it. Um, but yeah, I also like food, and but I I, I did want to be a oh I changed my answer, a comedian. I wanted to be a stand up comedian. Ooh. That's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, so yeah. Hard. Yeah, that's hard. I did. Yeah. Just being able to like think on the fly like that is so hard. Yeah. But this is better. Way better. <laughs> <laughs> You're have welcome. you tried it? Stand yes, up? I have. I have. Yeah. Yeah. Long time ago. You got any like footage or? 
No, fuck. I would, <laughs> kill, I would kill somebody to have that footage. No, she's definitely oh got. God. She's definitely got a tape. She's just not showing us. I yeah. feel like I feel like she would have been good if she kept practicing it. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, you guys know that one that one uh, Asian gr- girl comedian Zhao Ying Summers. Yes, she was in. Um, Does she not look and act like her? I don't, I don't know, know, I mean, I don't know who that me? is. No, 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 not the oh. girl. Who's the girl from Beef you're thinking about? The main. No, that's Ali Wong. <laughs> oh, you think yeah, she looks know. like that? Girl? No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, she was a comedian. Well, okay. Well, there's a girl. She's on TikTok too, Zhao mm-hmm. Ying Summers. She's like Chinese. Uh-huh. Even the jokes she makes literally sounds like the type Show of me. jokes that Esther would make, except she has like a Chinese accent. That's the only difference. I'm gonna Shout show out, you. Yeah, I don't know uh, if I've seen them, but but I'll I'll send it to you so we don't inter- interrupt the flow. Yeah, yeah, okay, we can sure. we can yeah. pop up a picture. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, you guys don't give them the idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have service. So I'll send it to you later. But mm-hmm. yep. Um, do you have some of the those questions or no? <laughs> didn't you Didn't you say some or no? Um, she saved one, but it was oh, a wild fuck. one. It was also, yeah, I, 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 I thought I didn't. I, uh, now I'm, th- I'm thinking about it. There was questions outside the box. And I just put them in the box because I was like, oh, there's, <laughs> no, there's some cards out here. just ones that I could like kind of tweak to sound not as sexual except for the ass one. Yeah. I was just going <laughs> <laughs> to Low key, we could use those for the truth to drink. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, they're just right at the top, the ones you saved. I didn't like shuffle them in yeah, there. Let's anymore. just get into it then. The truth to drink. Yeah, because it's been an hour 24. Okay. Yeah. So you choose one and then like choose a person to ask it too. Okay. <laughs> these are funny as fuck. These are, these are way better than the ones we from had. Paul from yeah, the left. I can start. Okay. Uh, who should I ask this to? I'll ask this to Esther. Yeah. Esther, do you have sex on the first date? Ooh, that's, <laughs> a um, that's a good one. Back in the back in the day, yeah. um, I've done it. I've done it twice. Oh, back in the day. Back in the day. Not, oh. not anytime recent. Mm. Do you think mm. it's wrong to do no, that on the first date? No. You guys are grown as adults. If you guys, if the guy's gonna judge you based on like. You know, mm-hmm. like oh, you she slept with me. It's like you wanted her, you want to fuck her too. Mm-hmm. I feel like it. You know, there are times when like guys would say that, but there are times when yeah. guys and girls they it works out. No, you know, even if they like, sleep on the first date. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Megan, you're up. Yeah, okay. We we'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any secret fetishes? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's that's deep. Yeah, damn, damn, that's deep. That's strong. I wouldn't say it's like a secret, yeah, no, but like secret. I I liked like. Because I like the older women, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, the MILF-like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I like I like older women, basically. Oh, that's yeah, your yeah. fetish. Oh, that's yeah. your oh. I wouldn't even say it's a fetish. It's just, like, a preference. I wouldn't, I don't think mm. I have any, like, That's secret. a safe answer. Like, so yeah. That's a safe answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you would never know. No, if okay. she has a kid, does that turn you on? No, no, it doesn't oh. make it better. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> kid ha- kid having milk. age, kid having yeah, like age. Yeah, Kid having age, okay. It doesn't subtract but it definitely doesn't add to anything okay. wait i have a question would you get would you be with a woman who has a child my ex had a child so my oh. last my most recent relationship she had she had she had her, she had her child young so would so, you yeah. be a stepdaddy no i wouldn't i thought about it and that's well, that was a point of <laughs> <us> <laughs> <right> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> definitely not for my first relationship no yeah. way uh. yeah so i uh that's that was another thing i thought i was cool with it because i was so in love with her and then i just as time went on i'm like damn if we have a kid like you have another kid already. That's not my kid. Do I know yeah. this person? <laughs> no. Okay, I was supposed to say I was like, yeah, I've this never was like this, this was the girl I broke up with prior to the court, prior to lockdown. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know this. All yep. right. We talk. Oh. Shit. Jason. Jason. Oh, what's good? Do you enjoy a finger up the butt? Be <laughs> honest. <laughs> I don't know why you asked me that. <laughs> I felt like it would have been wrong to ask one of the girls. Uh, you, though, right? you could ask Paul, though. Yeah, I feel like I don't you should know. ask Paul. <laughs> what the fuck? Actually, <laughs> what the, no, I'm Megan. redirecting no, the no, question. Megan, bro, trust. Yeah. <laughs> trust. Wait, it would have been funny to ask one of the girls. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, okay, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, answer the question. Do you enjoy hey, a finger yo. up the butt? This is going back to our first episode. Hey, hey, yo. So it's a yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hey, hey, yo. But well, for good, me, good call on uh, redirecting yeah, that for question. Me though, nothing's going near my asshole, bro. Hmm. No. What, what about? What, what, what would you let someone say? eat your ass? Yeah, what if Violet? No, nah, nah, no, no tongue, no finger, no nothing. No, but honestly, Damn. Violet kind of convinced yeah, you a Violet bit. Violet convinced him, oh. and you. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I started thinking about. Wait, it. what did Violet say? She said, "Eat ass." She's just saying, like, yeah. all she guys was, gotta experience. She's saying it. like the G spot is there, shit like that. Yeah, man. You know, it maybe is. don't go down that road. Actually, yeah. yeah Stick to the vanilla shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes you don't want people to go down there because it's. Not clean. Fact. Did you wait? <laughs> That's why you got to get a bidet. No, they yeah. are The bidets are fire. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, Esther. Oh yeah. Um. 
Okay, I want a better <laughs> Jennifer. Yeah. Oh. If you could change how you lost your virginity, would you? Oh, oh. good question. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I wrote it. Dude, I, I wouldn't because at the time I really loved my ex. Mm -hmm. But I will say, I wish it was someone who didn't lose their virginity too. Oh. oh. Yeah, I wish we lost it together. That would have been nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see. That's yeah. Because I felt like it wasn't that special for him. Because yeah. me, it was like a, you know, yeah, yeah. canon event moment. Oh, but really? Like for him, I just thought it was more of like the next girlfriend. Did you cry? Did I cry yeah. when I lost my virginity? Yeah. No. Okay. Dude, when you I cry? lost my... No, when I lost my virginity, I was like, this is sex? This oh, sucks. Yeah, oh, no. it was, it was <laughs> underwhelming. Yeah, I yeah well, I was literally like, this is... Why, How old why are you? people... Huh? How old were you? Uh, 21. I thought it was overrated. Wait, you lost your virginity at 21? 21, yeah. Ooh. Wait, so you're saying it was like not even pleasurable? Like... No. Wow. And and the guy had the audacity to say, did you come? I was like, that was one minute, bro. <laughs> oh, that was it was one minute. It was one minute. Oh, my God. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Feel like it's it was a lot more overhyped too for yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, I think no, it was I like that way too. Clarity or something. Exactly. You know? Really, I thought it was the best thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I had to tell my friends like bro, he literally yeah. would tell me like, bro, you just gotta try it. It's different. Bro. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> yeah. Dude, like it was, it was of, different. It was an out of body experience, like the first time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. super random, guys. Um, are you guys comfortable about telling me when you guys lost yours? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was like 17. 17. Yeah, 17. 17. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I clipped mine. I put it on TikTok. I was, I was 15. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was 15. Wow. Jason, you're so dirty, bro. <laughs> dirty boy, dirty boy. <laughs> Who's your question for, Jason? Um, hmm. Loki, I want to ask both our guests. Okay. Yeah, if you guys are down. If you could only do one position for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? Ooh, that's a good question. Missionary. Missionary. Hey. Wow. Hey, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Missionary, for it's, sure. It's, Look into your eyes. Yeah, everything else is not as personal. Leg up, yeah. on the shoulder. Mm. I agree. Jason, what was your answer <laughs> okay. for that question again? I said dog answer. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I, I would say missionary. Yeah, missionary, missionary, yeah, I would say missionary. is romance. Yeah. 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 Missionary with the lights on, too. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm with you there. On yeah. the lights on? Yes. Not like blasting, not like studio lights, but yeah. like, yeah. Keep Bright enough to light. see. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a neon sign somewhere glowing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah actually, I actually don't like it when the lights are on. You know why? Because I'm laying down on the bed and the freaking bright light is shining on my eyes. <laughs> oh. yeah. Well, not like a ceiling light, more like a lamp somewhere. Yeah. Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. That's like fine. a warm ambient light, not like a... That's fine. Yeah. This yeah. sign. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, any like colored neon sign also super fire right yeah. do you guys ever feel awkward like looking into someone's eyes on the first time though yes right, oh, yeah. uh, right? i'm not gonna lie yes yes, yeah. yes. It, it, it took me some time to be yeah. honest no yeah, i had a no it's not awkward for you no mm -hmm. do you ever notice the girl looking away though no because i'm like don't look away oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo hey yo yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's like like if I'm gonna if I wanna have sex with you, like I don't want it to like yeah. be no, whack, yeah. you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretending I'm in love the whole time, yeah. <laughs> okay, I have a question and I want both the guests to answer it. Mm -hmm. What's the kinkiest sex you've had? <laughs> Dude, that's that's <laughs> deep. That's deep. Okay, but you know, like I said, kinky is like super subjective. Yeah, it depends you know, on like, the person. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, like okay, so your definition of kinky. Yeah. My definition of kinky. Wait, I have a question. Have you ever gotten your toes sucked? Dude, I would not let them near these. <laughs> really? Dude, my toes be throwing up gang signs and stuff, dude. <laughs> I don't know, man, dude. They they look a little weird. You know what I mean? No way. Wait, no, for real. Can we see it real quick? Hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> nah. hey, I mean, they're right there. <laughs> they're literally sometimes. I don't know. I don't know. I, I would be like, hey, stay away from those. You know? Like, <laughs> yeah, you can touch everything you want, just not those. Oh, really? Wutok, have you ever sucked toes? I have definitely sucked toes. You like it? Oh my like god. It, uh, I wouldn't say it's not like a point of like. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why you said that to me like that? I know. You like it, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh let me see your toes real quick. <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, I wouldn't say it's a thing I care about, but it was just like in the moment, like the toes just entered my mouth. And I was Wait, like, is that right. kinky? Toe sucking? A little bit. That's Wait, have you eaten ass? Yo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't get her started, please. Oh, don't get like her uh, on, the, on the road to no. Vegas, I was like, yes, eating ass. It's she an art. Gave, she um, gave everyone in the fucking car like a lesson on eating ass. I was like, what yeah. the fuck? Wait, like, give it, give it to us. Yeah, oh, okay. I want to hear it. All right. No, 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 what? Hey, friends and family, if you're, if you're watching this, turn it off. Turn it off. Um, basically, okay, so 
okay so <laughs> the guys the, the guys late I, I wish i could do it for you but i have a skirt on um so no. <laughs> the guy the guy is like laying down right his you know and then uh he has his legs up like this Wait. i go like he's missionary he's missionary his legs up are, that, that legs is a like crazy that. position though. you're 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 lubing up his dick and like just stroking the shaft while your 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 tongue is just swirling the butthole just, so it's like Ooh. double it's double sensation you know what i mean yeah i love that right yeah yeah huh? Yo. um now this i mean i told you i'm not getting any so this podcast is getting spicy at the yeah, end. That, that was yeah. wild. That was wild. That was a wild description. Wait, can I ask one last crazy question? What's yeah. the craziest place you guys have done it? I think his is crazier than mine. I don't yeah, where, where's I yours? We talk. I don't know. I did it in like a park once. I, I don't like a park. Yeah, it was yeah, more yeah. to like say I did it in the in the right. park oh, rather than like. Right. Oh no, I did one on like a cliff because I lived in Fort Lee, Jersey, which is facing New York, yeah. and I and it was like the most. It was like literally a view of like the New York City skyline, and we're on this yeah. like place where you usually go to like smoke. Like uh-huh. literally on a cliff, and it was it was a very nice view. Oh my god, Jennifer, you got to tell them yours, dude. Wait, I lived in I Please. lived in Fort Lee too. New Jersey? Yeah. No fucking way. Hell? Yeah, when I was like four. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I don't remember. Like, but yeah, yeah, I was about to say. There's a lot of Koreans over there, though. It yeah. is, yeah. yeah. Jennifer, my wedding yeah. balcony. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like a wedding balcony. A what? It was a, a balcony wedding balcony in a wedding. Like mid wedding. Yeah, mid wedding. Holy fuck! Oh, wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Love is this with the most is recent crazy. or no, 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 no. Uh, 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 long, okay. this one like crazy yeah I see I see wow but anyways yeah I, I mean <laughs> thank you guys yeah. so much for before coming before we go though is there anything you guys want to shout out anything you guys want to plug absolutely super bonsai go no cop that super bonsai man. it is out now if you want to stop having hangovers because there's no reason to have hangovers in 2023 mm-hmm. cop this you just take three capsules before you drink mm-hmm. and you are safe mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, and shout out Nectar too, as always. Yep, and shout out Under the Influence, man. Yeah. Honestly, Nectar appreciate y'all pulling seltzer. up and showing us love. Thank you, you guys for flavors. coming no on. <laughs> yeah, she knows it. She knows it. Thank you guys for coming on again. We really appreciate you guys. Mm-hmm. And we're the Nine for Nine podcast, baby. Peace out. Peace. <laughs>